up YouTube this is Juan from Kesado. now um, this is uh, the review for my 2009 Scion TC um, as you guys may know um, I've had this car for a while I actually uh, bought it when I was a senior in high school um, I've had it around three years with it and I thought you know I would come down to the hard park area in Bakersfield and give you guys a little quick insight uh, on this car so as you guys may know this is a four-cylinder it's a 2.4 liter uh, Toyota inline four uh, paired with the five-speed manual now this is the same engine that was used in uh, cars like the Camry um, the characteristics of this engine are, are, are pretty unique uh, it's since it's a big displacement engine I mean compared for a, for a four-cylinder it's really torquey it's actually uh, it, this, this engine actually has more torque than it has horsepower this car at the time was meant to go against the Civics of the day this car came out um, I think 2005 and it did very well for uh, it was Scion it was Scion's most sold car um, at the time this car uh, came with a lot of things standard that other cars didn't hence the glass roof the stereo with an aux jack the stereo controls um, and all of that came factory um, tilting uh, back seats uh, has a rear hatch it has a lot of space uh, funny enough a, a lot of people don't talk about this but but this car was offered in a spec package uh, from Scion which meant you wouldn't get the 17 inch alloy wheels you would get seven, uh, 16 inch st uh, steel wheels and also meant you didn't have steering wheel controls um, also your uh, steering wheel wasn't a leather wrap it was some type of urethane plastic uh, urethane and also uh, the glass uh, the, the glass was fixed instead of a moonroof and it's funny that Scion did that Scion actually thought this car was going to take off in the tuner community and people were going to mod it therefore they would uh, they made a spec package it was meant for you to you know change uh, put bigger wheels on it or put aftermarket wheels put an aftermarket steering wheel um, do stuff to the car you know that you wouldn't need that you would get rid of anyways I mean I feel like that's something uh, a lot of people don't talk about um, unfortunately enough this car didn't um, they didn't appeal to the tuner market. I think just at the time, uh, the Civic had a bigger community than this. I mean, this car from uh, from the get-go was uh, was built to take uh, force induction very well because they expected you to uh, turbocharge this. This car was also offered from uh, from 2005 to 2007 with the TRD supercharger made by Bortec. Now, that supercharger increased your uh, horsepower to 200-ish uh, horsepower and increase your torque to 100, uh, 182 I think um, the only problem with that uh, supercharger that there was a recall on it and it didn't last very long so a lot of people are going through superchargers left and right and unfortunately um, Scion discontinued it a lot of people were actually blowing up the engines before 50,000 miles which is pretty uh, pretty absurd so as far as performance mods this car has a uh, DC sports headers it also has a, a pseudo cat back so there's no cats in the, in the car right now it has a DC sports weighted uh, shift knob and it has a short door shifter now um, for being that this car was meant you know to uh, to appeal to the uh, to the tuner community there was always a traction issue with this car and I faced it myself so just in a standard factory form this car does not hold traction if um, if I was to launch the car or the car at you know um, 3,000 rpm I would not hold traction in first second I would I would you know start to grab tag and traction in third I'm pretty sure this comes from the characteristics of the engine I think just because since you have a lot of low end torque it, uh, it just blows first and second but you can see how this is a really big issue with uh, with people that want to modify their cars because not holding traction means your car is slower so we're gonna try to do a couple pulls here see how it does this second gear <laughs> Now, this car does come with variable valve 
timing, which is uh, Toyota's BBTI. But unlike Honda's, uh, Toyota's is very, very linear. The exhaust that I have on it, even though it's really, really loud, um, it's not too bad in the freeway. It does drone a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how this audio is gonna come out between, uh, you know, the, me speaking inside the cabin. But I do have everything closed to uh, to help out with the with the noise. I don't know the pole here. This is a great car for someone that is going to college or going to school and that just wants a, a car from A to B that is also really fun. This is a really great car for you because you have the dual moon roofs. You have a it's the very nice the Pioneer stereo with a very good sound system from factory. You have a very good room in the back uh, and you also have a very good trunk. You have, a, I mean, the car looks very well as well. It doesn't drive bad. It drives really well for what it is, also. I mean, it's uh, it's, it's it's good on gas, you know. And if you want, that's what you want, then you know, of course, this is a great car for you. At the at the point, it's also what I wanted. It was just a car that I wanted to go to uh, go to school in. It would save me gas, and it would be reliable and fun. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, for uh, sticking around. If you guys did. Um, this is my first review, so I promise the quality will get better over time. Hopefully, um, we could uh, we could do uh, more stuff soon. I do ha I do have a lot of things planned, so um, we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you have if you guys haven't already. Like this video or comment any uh, any questions or anything uh, anything you guys want to add. And uh, see you to the next one.